Did you know that the placements you select for your Facebook ads will determine how much reach and impressions you get? In today's video, I'm going to show you the Facebook ads optimization to get the best results so that you get the greatest reach and the greatest results. Take a look. Hey everyone, Kevin Small with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies. If you are new to our channel, welcome. We're so glad you're here. What we're all about is helping real estate agents just like you generate more leads, set more appointments, and close more deals. So if that's what you're after, this is absolutely the place to be. Please consider subscribing. We'd love to have you here as part of our community. Before we get going on today's video, one quick note. I just recently released a brand new class called The Four Pillars of Facebook Marketing Success. The Four Pillars is a free course Feel free to go check it out. It's talking about the four key things that are important for any real estate agent to grow their business. So down in the description below, you'll find the information on that. Go take a look. Now, in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is placements. Placements is the section of the Facebook ads where we're telling Facebook where on different platforms we want the ads to show up. And depending on what you do, it does impact the results that you get as far as both reach and impressions. So let's go through this and uh, we'll start talking about uh, what all of this means. So this is uh, the ad set um, and this is the section when it gets to placements. Now when you're going through and you're creating your ad and you get to this section on placements, most people leave it here with the recommended placements. So the problem that with recommended with using that option is basically Facebook is going to use every placement possible, both Instagram, um, Facebook, other websites, etc. So it's going to use anything and everything. And while that sounds great, the reason the truth of the matter is it's not as great as you think because some of the placements where they want to put your ad are just low visibility areas. And so I'm going to go through and I'm going to share with you some of the ones that I prefer and which ones I use and why. And uh, we'll just kind of go through this. Now, you've also got to realize um, one thing that's important is when you are determining what your uh, campaign is, so whether it's awareness or whether it's traffic or leads or whatever, whatever option you're selecting as your objective, it will change the placements because not all placements are available for all um, ad objectives. So just realize if you select a different objective than what I've selected, you will notice some options are or are not available. And the reason why that is, is it's because of the, um, it's because of the ad objective that you selected. So with that, when we get to placements, I always um, do manual placements because I want to pick the areas that I feel are going to be um, the best bang for my buck, where I'm going to get the greatest amount of visibility. That's what I'm after. So with this, you can pick specific platforms. So I can say all of Facebook placements, all of Instagram placements. Um, I think those two are, are self-explanatory, um, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on either of those. Uh, audience network. So Facebook does pay for advertising on third-party websites and other places. And so that's what the audience network is, is it's those third-party places. Um, in most cases, I personally and with my clients, I do not use that option. Um, simply because I don't like not knowing where my ads are. Right. Um, the only time I ever really use it is if we're running some kind of a campaign where there's tremendous value in them seeing the ad on Facebook and they move over to Instagram, the ads there and they go to another website and the ads there like that kind of if I'm doing marketing in that style, then that's about the only time I will use the audience network. Otherwise, I don't. And then most people just don't like ads showing up in Messenger. Um, so frankly, I, I never ever use the Messenger option. So in most cases, when I'm running an ad, I would have Facebook and Instagram, um, you know, if I was running the ad on both platforms. But then you'll notice down here in these sections, right? A lot of times if you come in, it's going to look like this. All of these will be collapsed and you just have these options. And a lot of people don't realize that if you click on that little button, it gives you a lot more choices in the feeds. 
Now, this first section in the feeds, this is the news feed area. This is the prime spot where people are going to see it. So the Facebook feed is what people are gonna see as they're scrolling through on Facebook. Same is true with Instagram. So I never run an ad without using those two options because those are the prime visibility spots. I can't imagine you ever running an ad on Facebook or Instagram and not using the feed, the main feed option. So 100 times out of 100, you are going to have those two options selected. The marketplace is the classified section. So if you're unfamiliar with Facebook, um, Facebook has a marketplace where people can buy and sell items. And uh, I've because it's a decent um, traffic place, I have had some pretty good results with Marketplace. And so I like my ads showing up there. Um, the video feeds. So if you've ever watched a video on Facebook and then it cuts away from the video and starts showing an ad, that's what this placement is. Um, I do not like it. Sometimes if I'm running an ad that is a video, that makes sense. But if it's an ad that's just an image, um, I will uncheck that option. So sometimes I'll check it if it's a video and it's a shorter video. Um, otherwise, I don't. So um, Instagram Explorer. So this is that section on Instagram where people can go and search and find out about things that they, um, you know, brands and posts and things they were unfamiliar with. I've also had good results with that one. I would leave that one selected. And then Facebook groups, um, I've never really tested much with this one. Um, I don't use it a whole lot. If you're using another, um, another campaign objective that gives you the right column option, so the right column would be these ads right here. They are some of the lowest visibility um, ads on Facebook. I never, ever, ever use that right column because it's just such a low visibility area and it only shows up on desktop it doesn't show up on mobile devices so if that if it gives you that option i unselect it every single time instagram shop um, in the real estate industry this is probably not something you're going to use a whole lot um, and then like Messenger, I already mentioned, I don't really use that one. And Facebook Business Explorer, if I'm being brutally honest, I don't even know what that is, so I don't use it. Um, Facebook basically wants you to use at least six ad placements to get the best results. So you'll notice if you run less or fewer than six placements, um, you'll get a little message that will pop up where Facebook will say, you're going to have limited visibility and reach because you're not maximizing the placements. So that's one of the reasons why it's critical that you have a certain number of placements is because Facebook is basically saying, we've got these other spots for advertising that we need to fill. And so if you're going to help us and fill some of those spots, then we're going to give you greater reach, greater visibility for the money that you're spending. So you'll notice with some ads, you'll spend a little bit and get great results and other ones where you spend a lot of money, but the results are very limited. It's because it's an ad that wasn't performing well and it's likely also has something to do with the placements. So this is why optimizing placements is critical for what you're doing. The next section, stories and reels. Again, um, I've had some good re, uh, some good options with the or good um, results with these ones. If you're using stories or reels, the shorter content tends to work better for these, and so that's what I would recommend for there. In stream, I never use it. I always uncheck that option. Uh, overlay and post loop ads on reels, I always unselect that one as well. The search, um, I've had decent results with that one, so it's kind of hit or miss. Sometimes I'll use that option, other times I won't. Kind of just depends if I need to pick up some other placements or not. Um, messages, always uncheck that one. In article, always uncheck that one. And then apps and sites, since uh, you know in real estate we're generally not doing anything with apps, um, it just makes sense to not use that one as well. So typically what I'm using are search, um, Stories and reels, again, if it's shorter content, if it's a shorter video, if it's a long video, then what happens is Facebook posts it, but since stories are really short, it chops up that video into like uh, 10, 15, 20 different chunks. And I'm sure you've seen that before, but that's what happens. Um, and then uh, here with the feeds, 
uh, again, feeds are really the primary spot where you want things. So that is what I would recommend to optimize your uh, placements for the ads that you're running on both Facebook and Instagram. Again, the reason why it's so important is because if you are having the correct placements and enough of them, Facebook will optimize your ad and for the same money that you're spending, more people will see it, which just gives you greater results. So that is today's video that is all about Facebook ads placement optimization. So if you found that helpful, take a split second, go down below, click the thumbs up button. We appreciate your support. Also, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Uh, you can click the subscribe button down below and then also right next to it, you'll see the bell notification, which will notify you anytime we put out brand new content and we put out content like this every single week to help you get better results and grow your business. And then lastly, if you are interested in our services where we do the marketing for you to help you get more leads, more appointments and more closings, feel free to look down in the description below and you'll see that information. Uh, reach out to us and we'd love to give you more information about that. So that is everything. Make sure it's a great week. Keep crushing it in your real estate business. As always, if we can help, let us know. Otherwise, we will see you on the next video. Take care.